Greetings all, another update from the workshop and another in the interesting, well at least I find it interesting, series about the small infinitesimal changes that go to make up a police and a civilian version of a Kawasaki. What you see on the floor is two variations on headlights that were supplied and fitted to both civilian and police bikes. On my right, you've got one that's got a city parker light built in. Now this is a non-removable bulb, that's a little light back in the day that you could use to read a map, or if you're a police officer, get your ticket book out at night and write a ticket up. But that's a sealed beam, so that's a non-replaceable parker light and a non-replaceable main bulb. A bit of a problem because if any of these burn out, you've just got to hold, throw the whole thing in the bin and get a new one, which is kind of a waste. Um, obviously, and just for clarity here, this headlight assembly is a bit overkill, um, but it's done because it's, uh, it looks sort of beautiful. I think you'll agree it does look kind of beautiful. You have an outer chrome trim ring, sort of a beauty ring if you will, and then an inner zinced, or what used to be zinc, housing that holds the actual headlight bulb itself with an adjuster screw here to tilt up and down. So again, outer trim ring, inner clamp if you will for the actual headlight assembly, and then the headlight itself mounts into a bucket, which we'll show you in a minute, um, using this lip, which hooks into the top of the housing, and then it's secured at the bottom by two counter sprunk, counter sprunk, counter sunk. There we go, counter sunk Phillips screws. Couldn't say that. So that gives us the older style sealed beam, sealed parker light. Uh, Z1000, Z650, even Z900s had this. So it's quite old, this dates back to at least the early 70s. The later iteration, which still uses the same uh, headlight assembly, so exactly the same mounting here. The later versions don't have the accommodation for a parker light and they have a removable H4 bulb. So this is relatively modern technology, uh, certainly by motorcycle standards back in the day. Uh, held in place, as you can probably see there, with a bit of black elastic just to make it water resistant or moisture resistant. So removing this required a little bit of heat just to loosen up that elastic and then you pop the clip off like that. And obviously we haven't loosened the elastic, but if it was, you just then pull that bulb straight the way out and replace it with a new one. So that's the two iterations. As I say, these early style were around for six seven eight nine almost ten years the latest style this one was in use right the way up until the early 90s believe it or not uh, until they switched to other technologies but the h4 bulbs are still used in cars and still used in or well, cheaper cars and cheaper motorbikes so very common technology anyway uh, this specific installation is going to go with the earlier style headlight we're going to be fitting this headlight assembly into a police motorcycle fairing that's on that bike right there, which is the 1978 Kawasaki KZ650B. That's the, sorry, 1977 uh, Z650B. That's the last year with spoke wheels and a drum rear disc. So with no further ado, we'll push the pause button and head over there and I'll show you how it's done. All right then, onto the headlight assembly. So it's a multiple piece installation so you've got a rubber on the outside a cushioning rubber on the inside and then some metal protection so with no further ado this piece fits on the outside so it's going to go through here and they're interesting the old rubbers are very tough to fit because they're not malleable luckily these are new but it's still a little bit difficult to get in you can see it's just coming through on the inside here Famous last words, it will come through. And when in doubt, old trick, use the bolt, push the rubber through and don't scratch the paint. There we go, so that's through now. Uh, comes with a corresponding clamp. You can see it's got notches on the inside and you can see corresponding notches here. On the, hopefully you can see that, corresponding notches on the inside here. And basically that bit fits over here. We then have a round piece on the outside, which is so you can bolt this through 
to the body of the bike and we have a washer on the inside here and that's essentially what makes up the package so that will go through on the outside your washer lock washer and nut fit on like that and then this whole assembly will fit off to the bike up the front so what I'll do is I'll prepare this off camera, get the other side ready to go, and then I'll show you what happens in the front. Okay, we're back. Um, this is a bit of a fiddle, so it's a little bit difficult to video. You've got two brackets, and again, this is police specific. So you've got two brackets. This is a stock Kawasaki headlight bucket. That bracket is held in place by a bolt that goes through a custom-made custom -made adapter. And on the inside, which you can probably see just there, you get a washer, you get a lock washer, and you get a nut. And that's what holds the police headlight assembly in place. And th again, this is just in temporarily pending final fit. All of this bright work, will all, all the bolts will get replaced with shiny new stainless units. Um, we'll do the same on the other side, which might be easier to see after the installation's done. But so a bolt goes through the headlight housing. It's going to level that up. You can see how it's coming together now. And I have a washer on that side, same as the other side, basically. Washer on there, lock washer, and another nut on the end. And then you'll see uh, as we align that it's going to get secured into that bracket and then we're going to tighten up the washers on the side here let's see where my fingers are so the bottom of the bucket aligns with the top and bottom of the opening so same on this side and again this is just a rough fit so we put the shiny stuff on and same on that side right there. You can see it starts to adjust up. And that is what you would have seen back in the day with a police headlight roughly in place. Uh, if you come around the front, I won't be able to fit the headlight for the moment, but I'll show you how it fits. So hard to see, but you've got two screw holes here and that's for the two mounting points here that one and that one and then on the top you've got a lip with a notch in it and this lip hooks over this notch that goes around the outside there so you line up that opening with that opening and then twist it to the left so essentially you're doing this so this whole thing sits inside there. You line it up and it will then swing around like that. And you can see it's actually marked top. So that's how it should fit. And obviously we can't secure it at the moment because we've got to replace all the bright work. But that is essentially what you'd be looking at on a 1970s New South Wales Police Kawasaki. So there you go. Stay tuned for the next videos. Uh, we'll be doing some more stuff around police bikes and civilian bikes, um, some brake work, some engine stuff, and we want to show you the outcome of the Cerakoting process, which we'll show you in the next video. Cheers, everyone. Catch you then.